Good morning, everybody. Glad to have you here today. If you want to follow along, we will be in the 27th chapter, starting there in the first verse. And I'll uh, be looking this morning. Uh, we're going to uh, look at a passage that uh, points out, warns us about um, four um, very uh, dangerous sins, uh, not Certainly not a, a exhaustive list of all the sins, but uh, four that um, are, um, I think the issue, maybe the reason these four uh, are put here is because they're four sins uh, that tend to go um, overlooked. Um, we have a tendency, I think, um, as Christians in the church, uh, many times we uh, we look at um, you know uh, murder and uh, you know what we think of the and I almost hate to use this but the, the big sins um, and think well maybe my sin is not um, as bad uh, as what someone else is doing uh, but we're going to see here uh, again four uh, sins that are uh, listed here for us uh, to be concerned about. And again, they often go uh, under uh, the radar, uh, but unfortunately many times uh, show up in the life of a believer. And so beginning in verse 1, it says, Boast not thyself uh, of tomorrow, for thou knowest not what a day may bring. Um, first thing that he talks about, and again, I, most believers, I don't think most people wouldn't think this is too big an issue, uh, but it's obviously uh, an issue uh, here that it uh, made uh, made scripture, and that is um, uh, overconfidence uh, about tomorrow, uh, overconfidence without um, and, and ignoring uh, the providence and the will. Uh, of God. Uh, when we make our decisions, when we go about uh, our life and ignore uh, the uh, direction uh, of God. Now, that doesn't mean we don't plan. It doesn't mean we don't prepare. Uh, certainly, there's nothing wrong with, for example, uh, having a retirement account or uh, setting aside uh, a savings account or uh, stocking up on some uh, a few groceries uh, in case of uh, some issue doesn't mean we don't plan. Um, that doesn't mean you don't have a uh, a, a calendar and a schedule um, for your life. In fact, uh, the Bible goes the other way and says if you you know it, it's uh, dangerous not to plan, um, and uh, that um, that uh, the the ants. Uh, we saw earlier in the book of Proverbs were uh, talked about and, and uh, bragged about uh, for planning for the winter. Uh, what it is saying is uh, when we take tomorrow uh, for granted, like somehow uh, we have the power uh, to control uh, the future, uh, that his plans, his will, uh, are ultimately uh, what um, is um, is going to happen. I think uh, the other side of this uh, is um, don't boast yourself when tomorrow shows up in another way. Uh, when we, for example, uh, when we put stuff off, when we uh, procrastinate and say, well, I'll get it tomorrow. Uh, you don't know that you have tomorrow. Uh, don't, um, don't wait uh, till tomorrow to do what uh, you can do uh, today, I believe is uh, again the uh, the idea that um, is is being uh, given to us. Very closely to that, let another man praise thee, and not thine own mouth, a stranger, and not thine own lips. Uh, arrogance, um, bragging uh, on ourselves when we think we're better than others, um, uh, when we're not. Uh, humble. We don't have uh, humility uh, in our life. Uh, verse 3, a stone is heavy and the sand weighty, but a fool's wrath is heavier than them both. Um, 
be careful of anger. Uh, he, he's this, um, there, there's, um, you know, being a, an angry person, um, uh, irritating others, um, being angry uh, at others, failing to apologize uh, when we do uh, hurt others. Uh, and so uh, another uh, warning against uh, temper, and anger uh, that we have seen previously uh, in the book. And then the final verse this morning says, Wrath is cruel and anger is outrageous, but who is able to stand before envy? And uh, so this is talking about jealousy. Uh, again, it just kind of builds on what has already been said about anger. Uh, now it says um, that, uh, that envy, uh, being uh, jealous uh, of others, uh, is something to be warned of. Uh, and again, when we look at these four sins uh, that is mentioned here, they're not what, again, and, and I'm, I don't even like the phrase, but what probably most people would call big sins. Uh, but they are dangerous sins uh, because they often go ignored um, and are allowed to grow and to fester uh, in our life when we presume uh, on tomorrow. Pride anger, jealousy, um, that there are, um, there, there, there are people who are, uh, who are wounded, hurt, uh, there even, I think you, 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 you realize there, there are people, uh, who are, who are dead, uh, who have been killed on, on, uh, because of, uh, some of these, uh, things, pride, anger, jealousy, uh, that have led, uh, to people, uh, having, uh, serious, um, issues, and so we have to you know, study the Word of God, uh, listen to the Holy Spirit as uh, we are convicted uh, that we deal uh, with these four sins. Uh, if I could sum it up today for us uh, in, in one simple lesson, uh, what we are reminded here is that there is no uh, insignificant sin. Uh, there is no sin uh, that should be uh, overlooked. There's not a sin uh, that isn't uh, that doesn't uh, bother God, and they should bother us. And so our prayer this morning uh, should be: Search me, Lord. Show me anything uh, that I might be considering insignificant, uh, but that to you uh, must be dealt with. Uh, think about that today. I think it'll help you help you in your Christian walk, and uh, have hope you have a. A great day, and we'll see you back here tomorrow morning.